Today we're going to learn how to do an inspection report using Rappaport's XAV2. The first step importing your nominal data will be your CAD file or the original file that you're going to be inspecting to. I've already done this to save us a little bit of time. The next step will be import the scan data so that we have something to actually compare to the original CAD file. Again, I've done this to save us a little bit of time. The first step when doing a alignment is to start on the left side and go to the right. Using the auto alignment and simply clicking check for the default features, it will go ahead and produce the best fit alignment uh, for what the computer sees. Uh, while sometimes it can take a little bit of time for the computer to process this, this is always the best step to start with first. The next step will be to go ahead and choose which one of the additional alignment tools you'd like to use. For this project, we're going to use the datum alignment since we're able to select specific faces so that we can uh, select which parts of the original CAD file are the critical parts that we'd like to make the, com the comparison most accurate to. To use the data alignment, all you'll need to do is select a face, a curve, or an edge uh, on the original CAD file and it will use that that face for your, uh, for your alignment and only that face. After you're done, clicking the check mark will allow it to go through and finish the final processing and allow you to move on to the next step that you need. The next step whether it will be Calculating your deviations, whether you want to do a whole deviation, a pattern deviation, or just a 2D section curve. Using the whole deviation and going and clicking the next arrow, it will automatically calculate the deviations for the entire part based from the scan data. Once you're in the in the options after the arrow, you'll be able to select things such as color map, point, color point, or be able to set your set the color map that you see on the part to the same colors that you have for your tolerance color on the right hand side with the bar. Once you check out of the whole deviation because you're you're happy with the options you can then go in and change your options for the color bar. If you'd like you're able to put call outs in by simply clicking on the part of the body with the deviation that you'd like to show. This will show the exact point that the part is at the point is at and the deviations at that point. Changing your tolerance is as simple as double clicking on the tolerance bar and then changing the number to which you would like. You'll have to do this for the upper and the lower bound. Happy with the way our model has turned out, the next step will be to generate a report. This will be the last step in the, in the process to finish your entire inspection. On the right hand side will be the parts that show up in your report. Since there's no reason to see an alignment in the report, we're just going to show the nominal data, the scan data, and our whole deviation. You'll notice on the bottom right hand side, we always have the blue color bar, which is, uh, which is our process. In the report, we have the nominal, the scan data, our whole deviations, which shows the callouts that we have, the tolerance bar, and then the dimensions on the top that we've pulled from the inspection. Finally, clicking PDF will save out our entire inspection report as a PDF. Your other options are PowerPoint and an XLS Excel file. Saving the PDF will bring up a preview so that you can look at the entire report. You can save the report uh, and you can view the report in here to make sure there are no more changes that you need to make. And that would be the inspection report XOV2.